Hi, uh, this is Teddy, and uh, this is the uh, Zion M944K. <clears throat> I am going to explain how I install Bluetooth on this machine. Okay, um, here, the <clears throat> Bluetooth system, <clears throat> simple, easy uh, Bluetooth system. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is version 4 and uh, socket and the car charger USB and um, these are the <coughs> ground loop noise uh, eliminator or something like that I can call and uh, these are the LEDs. Okay. Um, Um, okay, uh, this is, you know, the idea of how I did it. Uh, Bluetooth signal goes into left and right of the tuner. Uh, there's a connection here. There's a pin, 10 of them. And the uh, ground goes to the ground section, uh, ground pin here, side. Um, this one is for the turn turntable and uh, power for the Bluetooth comes from the uh, power source uh, here and also it goes to the LED and this is a switch now um, this power 14 to 15 volt uh, orange and blue goes into the amp section so I saw that another wires to the uh, from the negative and the positive negative goes to the socket directly and the uh, positive goes to the switch first and come back to the uh, socket so whenever the this this is a six pin this is a six pin whenever the uh, switch on power on and uh, when the power comes to the uh, here this car charger will um, step down from the uh, this voltage to 5 volt and it goes into the LED register here and also goes into DC isolation um, module which is this one and it goes into the Bluetooth uh, inductor and the capacitor is here and the Bluetooth and the go, signal goes into the tuner section when the, the power turned on for the Bluetooth, at the same time, from the amp to the tuner, there is a 12 volt power. Uh, I will cut this one. At the same time, Bluetooth is on. So, when the Bluetooth is on, this signal goes into here and go to the amp, and you can hear from the speaker. At the same time, tuner, uh, the radio, is stop playing music. So, you can only hear Bluetooth. Now, let's see. Um, whenever I put the, uh, the Bluetooth to the boombox system, I need to think about the uh, three things. Number one, where should I um, inject Bluetooth signal? Number two, where can I get the power to the Bluetooth? And the number three, how I can eliminate um, ground loop noise? Okay. Let's start uh, from the power. Uh, here is a orange and here is a blue. Came from the uh, this uh, power unit. Goes into the uh, here amp section. Negative, positive. Okay. Now I also <coughs> saw that wire on from the uh, behind. This is a negative, positive. So, 14 to 15 volt comes in here. This is a negative. Okay, negative one goes into the uh, black wire in this socket. And the uh, positive one will go into the uh, <coughs> here and end up to here. And there's a uh, six pin toggle switch like this and uh, that's why it uh, goes into the center 
of this side and going out from the bottom one through the uh, this black wire this one and goes into here connected to the uh, red wire of the socket okay so um okay i'll show you the uh, the <coughs> hold on uh okay oh, gallery side right this is the side uh of the boom box the switch i installed it the switch here and then is the uh, the line out line in and the phone uh rca jack this is a ground pin for the turntable so i use this one for the uh bluetooth ground now um whenever the power is on um the positive power come here and go out and turn on the, this one that means the uh, turn on the uh, this car charger okay now car charger has the uh, two usb port one is going into here these are the led wires uh, this is positive this is negative i use the five leads onto the system uh, front case okay and uh, there's another usb wire going into here this one okay now this is dc isolator uh, module uh, the five volt goes into here and coming out here and it goes through the inductor and the capacitor and here goes out to the USB. Same 5 volt, but the difference is um, okay, the power came from here, the same power source of this boom box. And uh, when you use power from the inside, to power up the Bluetooth and put them into the uh, whenever the um, like this uh, the tuner <coughs> left and right side output uh, you're gonna have the uh, ground loop noise uh, the because of the uh, using the same power source for the uh, uh, two different system um, if you use power for the Bluetooth from the outside of the boom box, or if this one has a battery, there's no problem for the ground loop. But uh, in order to, uh, for this setup, uh, if this one, if I connect uh, the Bluetooth directly to the uh, here, then ground loop noise will come out and uh, you need to eliminate it. But with the uh, this 5 volt uh, isolation module um, this 5 volt is different from this 5 volt <laughs> so it's kind of from the outside totally different now um, even though I'm using it from the origin of the same power source uh, from here it's a different power source now um, this one doesn't have won't have the uh, ground problem with this well, how easy. And uh, there's another way to eliminate ground loop, like this uh, ground loop eliminator. Without this, uh, you can just connect this one to this here, and connect this one here with this one, this one after Bluetooth, and connect here, um, and it goes out to the uh, system. So this one will eliminate the uh, ground loop noise too. I like the uh, this way. Um, this is simple. You can easily make it, and it works hundred uh, percent. Every time I use this one, it's work hundred percent. This sometimes won't work. Okay, now. So uh, right now, and also here. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see um, the detail picture of here. Okay, this one. Hold on. Mm, it's a tuner section, and uh, left and right 
Okay, here. This is a tuna section. Mm. It has the uh, uh, positive wire, plus wire to the uh, tuna, and uh, left and right here. So I use the uh, left and right connecting from the uh, this Bluetooth. And uh, when you turn on the power for the radio, for this setup, you hear both Bluetooth and the radio. So I need to turn off the radio. So in order to achieve that goal, I use six pin another side. Okay. From here to here, there's a 12 volt to power up the tuner section, which is um, which is this one okay this one so i cut this one <coughs> from here and uh, the wire from the amplifier goes into the this center pin on the other side and uh, another wire goes out and comes to the uh, this 12 volt that means that whenever i uh, uh, turn on the power for the bluetooth at the same time these um, wires are cut that means there's no power to the tuner the radio radio will not play um, turn off the bluetooth and uh, this connection alive again and the uh, radio come back something like that so i need a six pin in order to do the uh, two job with the one uh, action you can use the uh, Loka switch, the six pin type, but it's gonna be a little big hole you have to make. And uh, if you have only two pins, um, like this, or three pin, you need to have the uh, two of the uh, two of them in order to achieve the two job at the same time, like the uh, this six pin. Okay. Um, the reason I'm using the uh, here uh, for the input signal for the Bluetooth, uh, this one has the uh, um, line in. Okay, this one has the uh, line in for the phono and also line in and the line out. But this line is only used for the recording to the cassette deck. So from the outside, the music source coming into here, and you can record it. But you cannot use as a, like a Bluetooth um, line in. This boombox does not have the. Uh, this one has only. Um, ooh, hold on. Okay. This is a function switch, cassette, radio, and the phone. Only three, there's no line in. So that's why I needed to use another base to inject the Bluetooth signal. If there's a line in, could be more easy. But uh, um, sometimes this way will work, sometimes it won't. And uh, it depends on the makers, uh, you know, how they design the boombox. Um, you, you have to figure it out how you will um, add the Bluetooth to the system. So this is the easy way to add the Bluetooth. And uh, the reason I'm using this everyday product because they are easy to get from the Amazon, easy to you know, replace if this one is broken. And this one has also the power surge protection. Whatever happens to from the power to here, this one will Grow, break down, but uh, it will protect from the, from from here to the uh, system. So that's good. Like this, and also one more uh, reason I use the uh, this one. Also, you can use the step down module, and uh, from here, 14 or 15 volt goes down to the 12 volt, and. Uh, uh, or 5 volt 
whatever. Uh, but using the uh, AC power and uh, DC power, there's a slight difference between the both uh, voltage. So if I set up everything for the AC, and sometimes DC won't work, or you know, I don't like that way. So I want to this Bluetooth system work either AC or DC. So this one can handle from 12 to 24 volt and always keep a uh, constant 5 volt out. So I think it's easy. Easy way to add Bluetooth with your everyday product like this. Yep, that's it. That's how I installed the uh, Bluetooth on this machine. Um, my English is the uh, very heavy Japanese accent included so probably it was difficult for you to understand what i am saying but uh, you know try and error will make you uh will make you a uh, you, you can make a good Bluetooth system by yourself uh, with the try and error <laughs> that's it all right thank you bye bye